Come on in. My name is Bill Tobin, and this is your restaurant success tip of the day. I've shared this before, and I want to make sure that people understand when you're talking about stars, cows, plow horses, whatever you call your menu items that are doing well and doing poorly, the data can lie to you. I, I always, I, I, I love doing the data and figuring out which things are really doing great for you and which things are dogs and not doing well for you at all. That's all important, but you might be menuing something really well and the guests are ordering it, but then they're disappointed when they get it. Uh, a, maybe a bad example might be if you put chocolate cake on the menu and you bring somebody chocolate cookies every time they order it, they might order a bunch of chocolate cake, but they might be disappointed with what they get and not say anything. That's like I said, a bad example. But my point is, even though somebody orders a lot, even even though your guests order a lot of one item, doesn't mean that they love it. And so, short of doing table touches, which I talked about in another episode, another way to get great feedback on how your menu items are doing is through your servers. Your servers are interacting with your guests all the time. They know which items are making the guests very happy and they know which items might be disappointing the guests. And yeah, I, I like a lot of chefs in this industry, we take our food very personally. I'm not a chef, but I, I understand I understand the artistry of being a chef. And I think that when you work so hard to create something and you find out it's disappointing, it hurts. But the same t on that same sense, a lot of your staff don't wanna tell you that maybe something's not as good as you think it is. So what we do in our restaurant, we're doing actually in the course of doing right now, is we are asking our servers to list the top three items on the menu that they think the guests love and then list the bottom three items on the menu that maybe disappoint the guests. And compiling that information together, we can see which items maybe we need to take off the menu because we're disappointing the guests or change so that we're not disappointing the guests and which items we need to maybe raise the price on because the guests are so satisfied with it. And there, there's a balance there because they might not be satisfied if the price is too much, but the servers know, the servers have daily information for you when they're working with their guests. They compile the information in their head, maybe not even knowing it, but they say, you know what? Every time somebody orders the pepper burger, they're disappointed in it. And so we say, okay, we need to change that. Every time the guests order the calamari, they are ecstatic about it. Every time they order this salad, they're up, they're upset and I have to take it back to the kitchen. The guests have the servers have that information. So your task for today, survey your servers and figure out what your best menu items are and what your worst menu items are. Now go make it happen. Do you have a comment or a tip for restaurant leaders? Text me at 808-201-0550 or find me at restaurantleadership365.com. This is Bill Tobin. Thanks for coming in. See you tomorrow.